Hi guys, Troublemaker here. This is City Skylines, and this is my city called Trouble in Rock 4. Uh, so lots of abandonment in this city. Uh, the reason for that is because under the policy tab, I have on Big Business Benefactor, which causes them to uh, sell a lot more. I also have Industrial Space Planning, but unfortunately that's not having the positive uh, effect that you'd hope. It is doubling up their production, uh, but uh, unfortunately a lot of these places are uh, low on resources and most importantly low on workers. Um, and this is a perfect example, uh, Miner's Dement, when we go to the, uh, oops, wrong one, to this, uh, well note the northern part is pretty uh, heavy on uh, minerals, but then we go to the southern part, there is none, so there's a uh, you know, a lot less resources available down here, uh, but it is pretty widespread, just causing pretty massive problems all around. I have two million bones, so I'm not particularly short on any uh, cash right now. I can do basically whatever I want. Um, and so this is going to be my last video with this particular city. Uh, it's been fun, but, uh, you know, achievements are disabled right now. So I can't do anything uh, uh, substantive over time or anything like that. Uh, so one thing that's been kind of funny, uh, I decided to get trains, passenger trains. Here's one passenger train location. And it's coming up to 33 passengers total per week. 22 tourists and 11 actual passengers. That's not a lot. And I thought, well, that's weird. Why would that be? And then I kind of look at this place. Uh, wow. Wow. That is insane. Um, every single one of these trains is completely stuck for various reasons. Uh, mainly because the northern route, uh, you can see here, is uh, not flowing, actually. People are all trying to curve in left here to get in here. And this isn't actually something that I can fix because I don't own this plot of land here, uh, which is now going to become a huge, huge, huge problem for me. If I could fix this, I would make a longer track leading in here, a shorter track leading in here, and then a bypass for here to lead around into the main track. So I can't do that, unfortunately. And uh, our train track is just really backed up in the city, which is why, in the end, nobody has resources, nobody has supplies, nothing's coming in. Uh, it's because I can't modify those train tracks, which are, you know, essential for my business. Now, how far is it backed up? It's backed up to about right here on this end. And then it's backed up pretty well the entire north-south area. Uh, it's starting around right here, so right next to the station. And that's a huge problem. If I could manage that, I would, but I can't. Um, but overall, I think this is a pretty uh, nice little city that I built here. Uh, going to the cameras here. And you know, it looks nice when you don't see all the abandoned buildings. This is a very large city as well. Well, looks large. I don't know if it's actually large. And uh, yeah, so my last big move will be to expand this area here. Jeez, you know, I, will, I really wish there was a... Maybe I can make a bit of a bypass here. So, now I gotta elevate just to see if I can get this uh, moving, and let's see if that fixes it at all. Like will I'll see by the end of the video whether this small little bypass I made fixed it. Uh, until then, I'll be developing this area here, this massive area, this massive district area. Um, I have to dezone a bit of this. Oops, big tool. No, I want to erase, not expand because we've kind of hit the border on what I want to do with that one. Instead, we'll build a new giant district, one that will be massively in traffic problems. They have very little highway access here. 
And I'm actually going to have this one uh, hopefully more or less transform into a, a servicing area for this industry here. But uh, have to see how that all works out. Okay, so I'm not going to have too much of a highway access here. It's going to be very, very difficult. Not going to lie. Uh, because I can't make a way in here, it has to be from here. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll just make a bit of an overpass here over our trains, and then link in this way. Space already occupied. I'll have to do. Oh, it's actually occupied by a fire station. Oops. There we go. Now I feel less foolish, and now we can make our awesome little overpass every single time. And do what? Yes, I do. I think I do want to make a second overpass. So I have a second one right over here. Looks like it'll get across. Oh, that went underneath. I did not intend that. Actually, this is an illegal plant. See? Right here? This is actually an illegal plant. The game shouldn't have actually allowed this to happen. It is literally underneath the pillar. That's... Yeah. The inner, the inner logic of the game should have said, no, that's not allowed. But it didn't, actually. There we go. Much nicer looking now. Okay, that's good, and we will go all the way across here. Excellent. And I need to have this road extend across here, all the way down to here. This is a very large district. This is a full one. It'll be probably the size of my original plot in the end. So let's add water. I've never built... Well, actually, it's not true. It's not that I've never built a zone this big. Or have it. No, I don't think I actually have built a, a residential area this large. This will be exceptionally large. Slope too steep. It's an underground utility. I, you just change the slope. Okay, done. Um, by the way, I'm at 123,000 people. That's kind of uh, closer to the ceiling of what I could do. Since most of my places are getting pretty abandoned. Uh, education is hyper, hyper, hyper important um, when it comes to these sorts of expansions. I don't have water covered here. Right, back to the area. And uh, my population is actually shrinking because of uh, death. Uh, people are moving out of these areas. Uh, but people are still actually actively moving into Lakeside and uh, northwest of Highway. North of Highway, now fully uh, saturated. Uh, so, let me switch over to these uh, roads here. I build very, very large areas across here. One thing I didn't do was name this place, so due to its strategic location next to the trains, this will be known as the train yard. Gotta end the train yard. Not yards, just yard. So you live at the train yard, do ya? That's what they'll be saying. Um, let's see. So I'm going to try doing this uh, crisscross pattern. So, one there, and then on this side, so we're kind of splitting off 
uh, reducing the amount of traffic per uh, neighborhood by doing this. I also do want to get this place kickstarted uh, with people, so I'll be building a fire station so it can, that could also be used to service my industrial area. Always needs fire needs. And I'm going to get a little bit of power across. And this will electrify this and allow people to uh, move in and flourish, which, you know, is a requirement. I should actually put some zones in if I intend for people to actually move in. And some office offices. Now, did the bypass work? It looks like the answer is no. It did not work. Um, Seems that nobody's using it at all. So unfortunately I can't fix my trains at all. Uh, hopefully my next map will be better. Um, not to say this is an epic failure by any means. Uh, 123,000 people with industry. Keep in mind, with industry. It's not too, something to fret at. i say without industry uh, you can probably hit around uh, 300k or so because offices hire more people and they also um, they also don't cause pollution which means more less medical needs uh, which in turn means um, less costs and more uh, faster room for expansion my next city that I'll be building will probably be an industry less city um, just to kind of hit some upward levels. It's going to take a little bit of fun out because I'm going to have... Um, I, I say a lot less traffic and uh, probably... probably less problems to deal with but I want to see how it goes and I'll make it fun. I'll turn it into a, a funny traffic simulator. I mean, uh, you know, I've built some funny things here. I mean, what's really funny that I built myself? Where did all the funnies go? No funnies. Oh, here's a kind of a funny one. Um, it's a, a traffic circle with an overpass on it. It's a small traffic circle, and traffic circles are placed in through intersections, and so um, it has a lead in to the traffic circle right here, a lead out right here, and then it overpasses into the city, uh, which allows for traffic to flow freely over this and through the traffic circle. There are some really funny things you can do with traffic circles. Uh, more on that when I get the opportunities. Um, But unfortunately, I've mostly uh, I've grown kind of bored with this city, mostly because I lost the ability to do achievements when my count flash went from like 200,000 to negative 50,000, and I accidentally took the bailout offer, which I, I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have accepted that bailout offer. Okay, and the last part of this over here. Now, of course, I can put a train here and make it live up to its name. Uh, there's not a ton of space, though. The train yard would actually take up quite a bit of extra space. This is a uh, rougher around the edges attempt 
and uh, it, it will take a long time for that to actually populate, uh, especially in a world where I'm currently depopulating uh, the issue as to why I'm depopulating. Um, could be taxes related. Uh, taxes are actually not particularly high right now. Uh, my budgets are all pretty capped out. One thing I haven't built is an airport, and that's because airports are pretty darn useless. They're almost as useless as a train network, and and you know, as as plain as day, uh, trains have a lot of mobility problems. Um, and you could say like, oh no, you know, troublemaker. That's just the the way you did your stops here, and yeah, that's fair enough. But I mean, like, there's no reason why this train here, this one here, there's no reason why he shouldn't be moving forward at all. Like, he can move up to here, and cross this line. He should be moving. That train just disappeared. That was weird. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, that's it for this city. Um, moving on to something a little more radical. Uh, probably going to use a lot less highways, but probably going to have a lot more funny looking ones like these. Uh, so my name is Trailmaker. Thank you guys for joining me in this journey, and I'll see you guys next time.